when i joined engineering i felt that there was book reading but we ne- i never liked it we wanted to do something practical something meaningful and you know get out our engineering out of us so we had a small workshop in college where is to fiddle around with drones have night outs uh, build in the night go fly in the morning eventually we ended up making better and better drones and in 2013 we won the nasa award for uh, designing and developing drones so we built a very small uav which was just 120 grams and uh, it could carry up to 400 grams of uh, payload around 75 teams from across the globe participated in that event and so yeah so we won the first prize so that is actually what got us thinking telling now that we built a drone uh, what do we do with it there are many drone companies making cooler and cooler adding new features onto drones but none of them are actually is trying to find out the biggest problem that we can address once they started looking for real life problems to solve using drones they found several potential applications infrastructure development for example if you look at any infrastructure project right to a scale of a smart city right so for the, the first step before you do anything is to survey the land planning takes almost 45% of any project's time we have uavs which can actually do about 12 acres of data collection in about a single minute similar thing with a human being will take about 2 days their startup skylark can now directly increase the speed at which infrastructure projects like metros or airports or highways get developed and that directly contributes to india's growth infra is just one example essentially what they are doing is automating manual data collection via drones and this increases not just speed but also accuracy and typically costs less whether it be for surveying or to say collect yield data of crops that farmers will find very useful we start from a garage right so we didn't have so we were staying in a bunch of friends house in their hall my sister's place on the couch and all that so it was a rough pace but we didn't feel it was rough now that thinking over it I was yeah it's not very very not a good life my parents thought i was crazy uh, when i came back from us leaving a 70000 us dollar job coming and living in a garage we have a good bunch of 10 people in our team right now but we are looking for more enthusiastic people so we are a very young startup right typically age of like 25 so we're looking at someone who who wants to be in a startup who who wants to make a change and not satisfied with just earning money going 9 to 5 in an office and and be happy with it